Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the match day. When I applied back in 2015-16 for the first time, the match day was not very positive for me because I got the email that you have not matched and you are eligible for the SOAP. First we'll talk about that. At that time, uh, I had little to no idea about SOAP process. I tried, but I was not successful. So one of the mistakes I made was that I was naive about the SOAP process and I did not do any research or did not seek any guidance. So that is something I would recommend you to do. Number two, some of the factors that led to me not matching were that, again, I had even taken all the exams by that time, including step one, two, CS, and even step three, but I did not have much of the guidance. Uh, I did not uh, write my personal statement in a very refined way. I did not share my story uh, in a catching way. And I made some mistakes in ERA CV. My approach was not well directed. So the second time when I applied, I changed all of those things. But the biggest thing I changed was I seek mentorship from uh, people who had gone successfully through that process. And it changed. So first year I had four interviews. Second year I had almost 20 interviews. And the second match day was very successful for me. I got the email. And I know that that is like the, the biggest thing uh, in the life of a medical student, whether you are an AMG, you are MDDO, or more so when you are an IMG. So what I would like to share with all of you that irrespective of the outcome, whenever you get the email and first we'll talk about if God forbid it's a negative one and you don't succeed, don't lose hope. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And in your case, tunnel could be very narrow if you play your hand right in the soap process. We recently made a video on the soap, please go and watch that video. You may uh, get some information, AMC, uh, AMA and NRMP, uh, they all have shared good resources for the soap. So prepare yourself for the soap. There's a chance you may get successful. Even God forbid you don't get successful, and then start preparing for the next match. You can take a few days off just to recollect your thoughts uh, and just start making changes. Do something that uh, you have not done before. If you have not taken step three, you have time and resources, uh, please do so. If your CV is research heavy, try to uh, get some good clinical experiences, preferably at programs which have residency. If you have good US clinical experience, try to get a postdoc research or even a volunteer research position. It could be even a remote position. Uh, start working on your personal statement even uh, several months before the next match so that by that time you are well prepared. I would also highly recommend that you seek a good mentor, especially a mentor that has gone through the same process, a mentor that works in the same field, preferably reach out to your uh, medical school alumni network. Uh, you can always reach out to APNA YPC. You can get potentially good mentors there. If you are psych applicants, Papana is one of the resource. So the moral of the story and moral of this video is never lose hope. When there's will, there's a way. And I am in front of you, I'm an example that I matched the second time, went from four to 18 interviews. God helped me, many people helped me. And that's the reason I have been trying to mentor people that you will get successful if you show perseverance and persistence. Best of luck, don't lose hope irrespective of the outcome.